So after Goku planned to send a group of fighters to take over the Swamp King, the king got very angry and claimed that he would intervene himself to achieve his goal and thus control the outside world. On the other hand, Maikishin was keen to take care of the two young ones, who needed to be trained in the time room until they grew up and reached a very sophisticated level. This step was somewhat complicated, because time was not in favor of the team, as Goku was tense and feared harm to a group of fighters he had sent to the King of Souls. Once everyone broke through, the Spirit King raised his strength remarkably, which made everyone take caution with the intention of taking this fight seriously. Everyone seemed to attack from all angles, and each person was directing his blows from a distance in order to avoid not being in the grip of this magical giant. This giant was characterized by magic that has no limits at all, which is what can be said about him that no matter how dangerous the level of danger, this villain may be able to overcome it, thus exposing everyone to imminent death. Goku was watching all these steps from a distance in the outside world, and he was accompanied by Vegeta of course, and they were keen to determine the appropriate opportunity to intervene. Well Vegeta, you see that this situation does not bode well, we may have to intervene at any time randomly, so be careful and be fully prepared. We must get rid of this magician, or he will affect us with his magic in the outside world. As Mikishin said, his magic has no limits. This scares me. Come on, Vegeta, be careful. Vegeta was excited at these moments, unlike Goku, but what is the secret of that? Is this because Goku bears the responsibility of all individuals, or is Vegeta hiding a secret? In all these moments, almost several hours passed, and some individuals including Broly and also Piccolo, were killed, and we do not forget Gohan who was suffering at these moments, and this is what made Goku finally decide to intervene to show his role in this conflict. Directly after this, Goku intervened targeting this villain, and that was very dangerous for him, as he was alone in this ordeal. Goku did not care about the seriousness of the situation. Rather, all he cared about was extracting revenge for his friends, who were somehow killed because of him, after he sent them to test his reaction. After Goku arrived, the villain spoke saying, Welcome Goku, you have honored me with your return to my swamp. You are the person of interest to me, and you are my goal in the first place. Your power is indescribable, so why don't you join me? Shut up you, isn't it enough what you did now to my friends? We have killed all your enemies and your soldiers. This is enough to say that you are a failure. You cannot control our world. I will get rid of you now on my own. I regret everything that I did to my friends, and therefore prepare for this. Goku worked at this moment to raise his strength, deciding to enter into a struggle alone against the King of Spirits, which we can say about courage more than what can be said about him is stupid behavior, as Vegeta was claiming to himself, saying that he claimed that everything Goku did was just reckless behavior. Goku began to enter the range of danger after the villain seized him and received a set of blows that drained him of a huge amount of strength, although Goku also had a high degree of magic, but directing it within his attacks and also managing this fight with a kind of professionalism was something that was out of his control. That is why the villain had the upper hand in this clash. Almost more hours passed, then Goku fell to the ground, subject to severe perishing. The villain grabbed Goku, then he tightened his grip on his hand, so Goku was screaming at the top of his voice in pain from this enormous pressure. It was something that was chilling, as Maikishin was observing this fight from a distance and could not intervene after she made an agreement with the child to train in the time room for about years in this place. At these moments, the evil one seized Goku and tied him by his hands and feet, working to imprison him in his own room. Goku became under the command of this villain and then thought of killing him if he refused this request. Well Goku, as you can see, I overpowered you and killed a group of your followers. Either you will join me, or else your fate now is a known thing. What is the role of this key? There must be something that this villain uses. Through this key, I have to get it. I might be able to control his magic or something, or even get my friends back. Goku, where are you looking? I see that you may hold a hidden intent against me. No, nothing. I was just wondering if I intended to make a deal with you to join you. I think that would please you. Well, if you are thinking about this, let me say that you will not do better than this, because in short, this will play a role in your favor and in my favor. Therefore, do not hesitate to make this decision. Come on, all you have to do is turn yourself in, and this is because I will control your mind. Allow me to do so now. 
Goku was afraid that he would expose himself to harm, but nevertheless he surrendered himself, and this is because he believed that this would not affect him completely, but as soon as the villain approached by extending his hand to control Goku, something happened that everyone did not expect at all. A new being called Vegito appeared, but from where did he appear? Vegito intervened in a very elegant way which made Goku choked, as this intruder saying, Come on Goku, come out, I'm now Vegito, and I'm the result of a fusion between Goku and Vegeta. Goku was surprised by this speech, but then he realized that Vegito is the result of the two children who were training under the leadership of Maikishin in the time room, so Goku fled immediately. This villain sent one of his soldiers, who had 100 degrees of magic, which surpassed his previous soldier. In these situations, Goku was under the auspices of Maikishin, who told him that Vegito would assign the task and that he would fight the villain until they found an alternative plan, as he had a very classy power and this will allow them a suitable time to prepare for the next attack, but he was surprised of course after he met another soldier of the evil followers, who immediately intervened, expressing his words literally. Hello Goku, I am glad to meet you. I was begging the king to allow me to possess this world to measure the level of distress of its inhabitants. Well, I am glad to meet you, since you are the most powerful person in this place. And let me tell you something, the king has provided me with a unique technique that allows me to absorb the power of my opponent no matter what level of strength he is. Get ready for this Goku. Well, I guess I have no choice but to go back to my old look. What I gained as a result of training under Maikishin was my only way to survive. Goku activated his old form, which was of course mixed with magic and light, and this form was of course Goku's only way to fight in front of this type of opponent. The tension of the fight increased, and it seemed that Goku was somewhat more in control, but does this have secrets behind what is going on? This opponent was not showing any attack. This is really strange. I think this villain is hiding something, but what is he? I have to be careful. Goku, what are you saying to yourself? No matter how smart you are, you won't be able to discover the secret technique. What are you saying? Well, I don't believe in what you say. Whenever it seems to me that you are weak in front of me, and you don't have the nerve to actually confront me, you know the level of danger for you, so I will continue to subdue you. Be determined to keep me in this behavior until the end of the fight. Indeed, Goku began to direct his attacks then tried to release a high level of his energy to get rid of this villain, and immediately after that happened, the place exploded, and the place was covered with dust, making Goku ignorant of the result of this destruction. After a few minutes, it was discovered that the villain was still standing and with a completely healthy body, which suggests that this the villain was definitely applying the absorption technique and pretending to be weak in front of Goku in order to absorb a huge amount of Goku's power. Goku was tricked and it is something he must avoid so as not to fall victim to this villain. What now Goku? I told you that your plans will not work for me. Now prepare for this blow of mine. The villain acted at this moment by attacking and directing his first blow, which cost Goku a great drain on his strength. Goku fell in pain from the severity of this injury, so what was the fate of Goku after he discovered that everything he was doing was stupid? In fact, only Vegeta and Vegito remain now to save this existence. We will discover the secrets of this episode in the fifth part, but after this clip reaches 1000 likes, thank you for your support and see you later.